Dead in Hip Hop first review back. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate everybody, the donations and everything. I just thought it got out of the way. Um, Absol Control System Review TDE. Hey man, look, TDE, they on the rise, man. They they this is this is another good project I can put under under, you know, the TDE uh, family. Um, I thought I liked this album a lot. You know, I listened to it one time and I was, at first I was like, okay, yeah, it was a good album, but then I listened to it a few more times and I was like, okay. Yeah, absolutely. This is nice, man. I like I like his wittiness. <clears throat> I like the way I like I like his 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 wordplay. It seemed like from long mentality, long term mentality. It seemed like he couldn't find his sound that much on that last album. It was as much as I liked it that album as well. It's like he couldn't find his sound, but this one, I think he, he found his niche. I'm, I'm I'm very thankful for this project, and the reason being is that you know I, in discussions B and I have had before, I've listed Absol as my second favorite out of the group. And this is one of the reasons why. The one, one thing I like about Al Soul is that he, he's able to actually deliver messages and, and I, with his music. Like he's always like a champion for the people and to a certain degree and he kind of want to shed some light on what's going on and, and he did that with this album. You know, it was very, you know, it, it definitely had his social conscious moments in it. Uh, follow it with, with, you know, of course, definitely the dope lyrics, the different style, the different what the song structures were definitely on point, you know, because he kept it interesting on certain songs where to get to the end and then it changed up to something else. Mm -hmm. Like the, um, the I Love the Dope part, which, you know, um, from Biggie's Biggie, album. Biggie, yeah, really. You know, those are, the, those are the things that I like about this. And I, you're absolutely right. Abso, Schoolboy Q, they're all finding their way. And the other thing I like about Abso is that he's, he's completely 100. Because if you listen to Long Term 2 and then Long Term Mentality, he's so real. He said, I'm just a regular nigga. He said, I ain't got shit. He had the song. Um, I'm living with uh, mama. Yeah, yeah. Or whatever. He, and, yeah. And, and, and on this one, you can follow his success. You know, because on this one, he was like, man, I remember when I was running around broke as shit. You know what I'm saying? So, he, you know, he has a lot of dope songs on here. Penny Glenn, Terrorist Threats is by far right now my favorite track on there, um, on, on this album. And, and there's, there's definitely some good energy on this album. I, when it first dropped, I was like you. When I listened to it, mm -hmm. it was like, okay, all right, it's cool. And then all of a sudden, everybody kept hitting us up, like, album of the year, absolute shit, blah, 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 blah. I listen to it again because I know we and, when, and then I said, you know what, let me, let me take a step back and then go back and revisit it because that was... I don't want that to kind of sway me and I don't want that to actually lead me to be disappointed with the album. But overall, man... You know, Absol definitely came through with with really a, a great project, man, and and I I thoroughly enjoyed it. I thoroughly enjoyed it. But yeah, he had some good, you know, like kind of silliness songs right. and stuff like that. And, and going to that Danny Brown joint, I've been waiting for them to collab for for a minute, and I'm glad I'm glad they finally uh, did a collaboration. And Danny Brown just finished off his verse just so perfectly. I, I love it. I love they whole. I love that collaboration, man. That was dope. I think my only negative <laughs> for this album, I didn't care too much for Schoolboy Q on this album. His features, I thought, I thought he was. Like, I liked him on Black Little Bastard. I didn't like him on that either. Uh, I didn't care for him on Black. All, he kept, uh, all I kept hearing was sticks. Ah! No, I, I, I kind of like the That's way all he I kept hearing throughout the whole song. Like that. I mean, I didn't like him. I ain't like. I ain't like him on Soap either. I ain't like him on that, or I ain't like him on Black Little Bastard. But. J Rock killed Black. I was gonna say that. J Rock. J Rock just. How can you dance with the devil rock. with two left feet? You know oh, what? Ooh, I was like, that was the J Rock was, I wanted to hear on his album. Like yeah. that J Rock was he, fucking nasty. Yes, he was. Like he made my head pop up. What the fuck? Like <laughs> Jay, he really? finished that shit off. Ooh, like, he was he, dirty. He, yeah. He was dirty. His flow was fucking monstrous too on that track. Yeah. Like he just, he sounds so angry. He sounds so angry. Ah, oh, yeah. So I, I ain't yeah, gonna no, jump in, but you good? Oh, I I, I, that's that's why I said come Shane back Rock to me, though, man. I, was, I, I liked. I always liked. I remember, Rock. I, it was I probably the, like, either Rod and, and probably FIFA. I was, was like, me it was, was J Rock or Freddie Gibbs. I was like, nah, guy? J Rock, man. J Rock is that nigga. I always like J Rock. That's so crazy. I had no clue that was the same guy. I just put that together. Okay, fine. I just put that together. That that's the same J Rock. Yeah, same nigga, man. J Rock. Wow, that was like five, four years ago. Yeah, man. Yeah. And I like how he put his own stories and you know, and just how he, like you said, songwriting, he put his concepts into mm -hmm. the song. Well, yeah, you know what? What's funny is, I, I, when I first put this on, I was worried because I thought I was going to hate it. 
because of the first track, those first two verses. I was like, what I was like, what is going on? Is, is he doing yeah. this on purpose? That's what I, was I thought he did like, it on purpose, oh like because it didn't sound. And then he come with that last verse. The last verse. And I was just like, oh, that's what I. Because yeah, that was. I was the same way. I was the same way. I can't say YOLO because I've been here before. I was so deaf. I was reborn solo. But before that, those first two the verses. The first two verses. I, I thought I was the only one, man. No. Y'all didn't think that. The yeah. first two uh, verses. I, 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 those first two verses. Go back. <laughs> go back. I'm, back. Go back. Yeah, the first two I, I'm, I'm glad you guys pointed out because I didn't pick that up at oh, all. Oh, I do. I, I, I almost, I'm almost thinking he did it on purpose just to kind of like fuck with people. Like I had to have. Uh, he had to because the rest of the album was like, what the fuck? I was so confused. I was like, oh man, I'm gonna hate this album and everybody's gonna jump on me because I'm not gonna come in here and lie right. and say I liked it. But yo, know, the first two verses, I don't know what he was doing, but that third I think verse, he, did it on he purpose. came out of nowhere. I thought I agree, he must have. He had to, but man. that third verse came in and was just like, yeah. oh, damn. But you know, man, this is a this is a a, a great album, like Absol. You know what I think is one of the most interesting things about him is is like Kendrick Lamar, he's really, really deep. And he's not surface level. Like you really gotta listen to his jams before you really figure out like what he's talking about. Like double standards. You know really that sad. was a dope trip. Real really shit. Sad. You gotta hit this pussy or you'll be a pussy. Right. Yeah. Really yeah. Like, or or, or to 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 the niggas, uh, getting bitches is what they do. But to the bitches, getting niggas, that's what a slut do. Yeah. Like again, just like Kendrick, it's like what kind of young black male. Approaches things from that aspect, you know. That's fucking dope to me. What is that line you said about Amber? Like everybody know who Amber is, but don't nobody know the nigga mm -hmm. that got the dome. Yeah, the like, nigga, and that yeah. shit was for real. Like, I don't remember. I don't even know the nigga who got the dome from Rad. Isn't that crazy? But we all, it's a double standard. We all talk about the yeah. girl being so, you know, at an age doing that. I'm sorry. And then, no, no, you good because yeah. yeah, I agree. And then the last track, I can't remember the name of it. Book Soul. Book of, Book of Soul. You know what the dopest line? That was so personal. That was so personal. Where he was talking about his girl yeah. dying and he said, died. I guess the Mayans were right. 2012, my world ended. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Book of Soul. That, that, that was it. <laughs> he has a great ear for beats. Like, that album was so diverse with mm -hmm. the beats. Like, like. What's wrong? No, no, go ahead. No, I was like, you finished. I didn't like, he went hard on that track, the track two. Who? <laughs> And then he you was, like track two? Yeah, I like Ooh. track two. And then it was then he had the Sopa beat that was all experimental and weird and off kilter. Then he had terroristic threats, which was all airy and atmospheric. Dude, this rides them all. This what album was like name? a variety pack of it fucking is. like treats. Like I you know agree. what I'm saying? One like you know how you get a pack of Snickers, mm -hmm. but then you got those variety packs that come with the Snickers, the Twigs, Twigs and all those. Yeah, the Milky Way. Dude, it's it. Uh, and that makes a good album. Yeah. Don't keep it like. And that was my one criticism of J Rock, if y'all remember. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I okay. liked J Rock, and I still like J Rock. It was just the album itself was too. Like one side, like one West Coast. Just yeah, like the West Coast yeah. J Rock is a great <laughs> rapper, but I just you know I couldn't get behind the album that hard. But this one, man, yeah, I, I, I won't go as far as saying it's album of the year. Definitely not. Yeah, but I, yeah, but I, I think it's a fucking great project. Great, great, great project. So kudos to fucking Absol, man. He put out a dope album, and yeah, well, he's definitely second for me too. With um, Blackhead, Blackhead. but you know what? I y'all gonna hate me, but I can listen to this over Section Eighty. Oh, uh, well, for me, man, when I first put this on, I was like, man, what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> like, I, I wasn't feeling it at first. But the song that, that got my attention, and then I had to go back to the beginning and then, like, listen to the whole thing again, was the one where he was talking about, um, if we pull all the gangs tonight, we could, we could oh, fight the military. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we could fight the military tonight. Yeah, that shit so, was dope. And, and, and you know me, man, you know, I'm on my political shit. So when he said that, I was like, oh, okay, this shit is dope. Let me go all the way back. And I had to listen to it for, from get-go. And, 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 that, and that, that song with um, the double standard shit, I be talking about that shit all the fucking time. And I was like, wow, that shit is so dope. I, those two are my favorite songs, the one about the military and then the one, um, the double standard shit. You know what I'm saying? Those are my two favorite. But um, you know, when I when I first listened to it, I, I was just like, I, I I don't know. Like I like it, I wanna like it more, but I listen to it over and over, and I'm like, okay, there's some things that personally I would like probably take away, you know, that I wouldn't do. But yo, the the, the, the whole album is just dope as fuck. What are those you know things I mean? though? The, the, huh? Yeah, what are, what are those things, man? What is that that you take out? 
Um, you know, some of the beats, I, I, I wasn't feeling like some of the slower beats. I can't, you know me, man, I'm bad with names. Some of the slower beats I didn't like. You know what I'm saying? But I, I, I like aggressive beats. I like bass. I like that shit. So there was there was like two or three beats that I didn't like. But outside of that, the rest of this shit was fire. But even the slow beats had bass yeah. though. Book of Soul, Book of Soul was a, is a, that was a slow on mute. You didn't put him on mute. So you, you know, so yeah, I think. I, I really need to feel why you don't, why you think you would take. I, I really have I to know, see, man. But I, was, I really need to know, like, what would you? No. Personally, it's, it's like if I was producing the album. Or if I was the artist, I wouldn't have chose that. But that's just me. But I didn't say it was it was bad. Right, right, I'm not saying that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't pick it. But it was good. But um no, I, I think Absol does a great job on those beats. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I think he kills them, but I, I I wouldn't pick it. Like I'm just saying personally, just don't I, I don't like the beats, but he did a great job on them. Yeah, I mean that's on every yeah, beat. Yeah. Like like Spike said, his beat selection. On point, yeah. on point. Yeah. He, he he sounds great on everything on the whole album. It's just that certain beats I wouldn't pick. But outside of that, it, shit's great. Bumps in the whip. You know what I liked about Book of Soul? Um, you know, you guys have already touched on the lyrics, but I like out of the whole album, that was the jazziest track on there. You yeah, know what I'm saying? That's, yeah, that's a good point. And, and, and it Fit. And it was the darkest one though, lyrically. Yeah, and it was like this dude actually rapped over pretty much a jazz track. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That was like even when I was listening, I was like, God dang, that's. And when you think about what he was saying the, and the dark tones and the story, there was no other track he could have probably picked mm -hmm. to really get convey that and get that point across. That's a good point. Yeah, that's so. a great point. Uh -huh. Oh so, yeah, uh, you know. I'm just glad, man. I, I I like TD. I like they producers, man. You know, Tay Beast, Willie B. Oh, what about Showing Love? I'm, I'm I'm thinking of other tracks now. But anyway, um, yeah, album is is great. Like like uh, Modest Media said, it makes me want to go back and listen to this album like right again right now and then try to catch some lines that I missed the first time. Um, support it, man. You know he's selling it. I'm glad. And now I've been seeing a lot of people been going out and supporting this album. So please, please, please go purchase this album, man. If they if, if I'm looking for it on vinyl. I have me a vinyl now, vinyl player. <laughs> but um, yeah, copy man, purchase this album, man, for real. Like like Mike said, I probably won't say this is my album of the year, but it's a it's a great album. It's a great project. Um, but definitely this is this is a a, a great album from from Abso, and you know he, he definitely solidified him and you know, reinforced for me why I, I like him as the second member of. of uh, of the Black Hippie Collective. So definitely, man, go out and cop this shit as soon as it dropped. I copped it. Support the dude, man. Definitely quality music, man. And, and TD, man, they're doing their thing. So so big ups to Absol. Yeah, man. Absol, this is a, a, a definitely a great album. Um, yeah, I mean, he's a diverse artist, which is very important. He's a great lyricist. He's a great rapper. He's a great songwriter. He's just all around, man. Pull the FIFO card, man. He's dope. Uh, so yeah, definitely go pick this up if you if you like hip hop, man. And I will go on record as saying that I like this more than Section 80. I, I Absol is dope, man. Um, if you want something with some variety, if you want some variety of you know beats, uh, moods, everything, and one album, this 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 is the album I say go get. Um, the dude is super dope, super lyrical. Um, he has. A wide range of content and it's smart and witty man it's not just one lane you know what I'm saying if you like swag shit and you know that drug and marijuana and, and, and lean he has that you know if you're on that political shit he has that too so you know the shit bumps in my whip you know support support a good artist man check them out